Cinderella and the journey to the dark wood. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a very beautiful princess named Cinderella. This princess had a fairy godmother named Liabel. From time to time, she would go under the hazelnut tree in the forest and have nice conversations with Liabel. One day, Liabel gave Cinderella a very important task. Cinderella, I have to give you something very important, but this must remain a secret between us. Cinderella was very curious. Then, the good fairy waved her wand and opened her palm. This, what is this? A thorny chestnut seed belonging to the evil fairy. You mean Kyrabel? Why do you have this, Liabel? The evil fairy does all her evils by drawing power from thorny chestnut seeds, Cinderella. So, you have to bury this seed somewhere she can't find it. But where can we bury the thorny chestnut seed? Oh, dear. Liabel told Cinderella about the mud castle in the dark wood. Bury this seed in a hole in front of the mud castle so that Kyrabel's seeds of evil will not bloom again. Cinderella nodded and left the hazelnut tree to set off as soon as possible. Cinderella first passed under three large trees with red fruit, according to the way the good fairy described to her to reach the dark wood. Then she quietly walked down a road full of snapdragons. Then she came across two large pillars. According to Liabel, as soon as I pass between these two pillars, I will have entered the dark wood. Cinderella gathered all her courage. One, two... Cinderella, wait! Cinderella paused for a moment and was delighted to see her mouse friends coming up to her. Oh, Cheddar, Mozzarella! You didn't think we'd let you go alone, did you? But you are so tiny. The dark wood can be so dangerous for such sweet mice. Don't worry. We can protect you and ourselves. Well then, my brave little friends, let's go. Cinderella ran between the two pillars, running with her mouse friends. Arriving exhausted and needing to catch their breath, as they entered into the dark wood, Cinderella was terrified when she opened her eyes, for lightning was flashing in the air. Big and terrible animals were walking around, and trees were on fire. Oh, Cinderella, this is a horrible place. Don't worry, we will go back as soon as we find the mud castle. Cinderella and her mouse friends started to search for that scary castle in the dark wood. At that time, the good fairy Liabel was about to be teleported to the world of fairies when the evil fairy Kyrabel suddenly appeared. I know you took the thorny chestnut seed, Liabel. You can no longer do evil. Tell me where is my dear seed of evil? The evil fairy was so angry that she tried to cast an evil spell with her magic wand, but failed. Your thorny chestnut seed is now in a place where no evil can sprout again, Kyrabel. Hmm, to sprout? Yeah. The only place a seed won't sprout is the dark wood. The good fairy tried to stop Kyrabel from leaving, but she couldn't. Kyrabel was quickly teleported to the dark wood. At that time, the hunters in the dark wood began shooting their arrows at Cinderella and her mouse friends, who were trying to find the mud castle. Hunter arrows! Quick, get down, my friends! 
Although there were many dangers in the dark wood, Cinderella ran quickly with her friends away from the hunters. Cinderella finally found the place of the mud castle. This must be the castle that the good fairy told me about. Come on, Cinderella, let's bury the thorny chestnut seed here. Cinderella and Cheddar started digging a hole in front of the mud castle. Meanwhile, Mozzarella was carefully checking around. Oh, I see a very strange light up ahead. Hurry up! Then, the evil fairy Kyrabel appeared right in front of these good-hearted friends. Don't move! Oops, the evil fairy! Exactly! Now this evil fairy wants her thorny chestnut seed back. Right now! Never! Since the evil fairy could not cast an evil spell without a seed, she approached Cinderella and tried to scare her by flapping her wings around her. I said, give me back my thorny chestnut! Seeing this, Mozzarella jumped towards Cinderella and took the seed from her palm. She then threw it up, up through the air to her friend Cheddar, who caught the seed by jumping in the air and quickly buried it in the hole he dug. The wings of Kyrabel, whose seed of evil was buried in the hole, could not fly at that moment, and she fell to the ground. We did it! Yeah, Cinderella! Let's get out of here! Cinderella and her mouse friends ran away from the mud castle. They passed between two white pillars deep in the dark wood and finally returned to the safety of their castle's garden. The good fairy Liabelle greeted them with joy. You have accomplished such a difficult task. I am proud of you and your little friends, Cinderella. Goodness is the most precious thing in the world, isn't it? <laughs> the fairy waved her magic wand and teleported Cinderella to a sweet reward. Cinderella, who did a very difficult job that day, made all her good wishes for the evil fairy to turn into a good fairy. Before long, a tree with huge white flowers grew where the thorny chestnut seed was buried. Seeing this, evil fairy Kyrabel set off again to look for other seeds of evil. <laughs>